What's up, everybody? Today we're taking a look at three more pieces of rolling stock from that big uh, eBay lot that I picked up. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right. So let's start things off with from Mantua. Fine craftsmanship since 1926. We have this item number 723-20, 1860 water car from the Pennsylvania line. That doesn't want to come out of the box because the styrofoam is stuck. This thing's pretty weighty. Uh, it's decently detailed. Unfortunately, the uh, the brake the brake valves here are bent. I'll spin those back into place. It's got these water tanks. Plastic wheels and and axles. The horn couplings. Decently detailed undercarriage. Like I said, pretty weighty. This is a pretty heavy model for such a tiny thing. Moving on. Next up from Mahano. We have this Hershey's tank car. There's no stickers or anything on here. And real quick, I didn't show you the back of the, the Mantua box, so we'll give you that real quick. Anyway, Hershey's chocolate tank car. I don't know what uh, Hershey's needs with a tank car, but my wife loves chocolate, and I'm not going to complain about it. It's nicely detailed with Hershey's marked all over it. It is, in fact, good because it's Hershey's. Uh, plastic wheels and axles, the horn couplers, plenty of externally fitted parts, or I'm sorry, separately fitted parts, right down to all these railings and things. And last but not least, in this really beat up old Tyco box, we have the skid flat with three tractors, Western Maryland. There's that F9 diesel that I love. I don't see a copyright date or anything on the box. So I couldn't tell you how old this one is. But I would imagine it's fairly old. So... Here we have number 2475, Western Maryland. This is the flat car for the tractors. And I'll tell you what, this thing is beefy. It's clearly made out of metal. And it's got this little tiny antenna here that I really hope doesn't break. It's got plastic wheels and axles and the horn couplings. And it comes with these three tractors that you can put on it. And they're just cheap little little plastic or even resin tractors. So, let's put these on the turntable to get a closer look, and then we'll head down to the track.
Here you can see them on the track. All three of them are outstanding rollers. So let's couple them up to something and see how they work. As you can see, I've gotten a little bit more track and I actually have more track to put onto this, but this is all I put on for today. And uh, I've coupled them up to the, to the cars from the last video. So let's bring the switcher around, have him bring, bring them off the siding out to the main line so that the, uh, the F9 diesel can take him away. Whoops, didn't couple. Seems to be a bit much, but it looks as though we have a little bit of a derailing issue here. I'm going to fix that. It should be noted that the track I picked up is old track that I picked up off of eBay and it's only to tie me through until I can, until I can, uh, get some newer track. But it looks as though we're running fine now. All right, now we'll back up the F9 diesel and couple up. And we should be coupled and we can send it on its way. While the Santa Fe is running, we're going to back up uh, the Santa Express here into a, the other siding and it's going to pick up the Coca Cola train or at least it's supposed to like I said this is old track and it should be able to pull it out and then just we'll have this one running simultaneously So I think that's enough running for right now. 
So we're going to attempt to park the two trains back up their sidings. We'll start with Santa's Express. Now Santa's Express is going to only attempt to park the Coca-Cola stock and I'll move back to where I had it parked originally. And we got a massive derailment of course. That's alright. Like I said, old track. Alright, we're going to attempt to back the, uh, the diesel up. Of course, it usually helps if you change over the siding. I have no doubt that we're going to have a derailment here, but it's, I'm having fun. be darned we actually made it all right I've uncoupled them let's pull the diesel out of there that's it for today we had a little bit of fun and I can see I got some work to do on my sidings uh, so I can so I don't have all these derailments but anyways I want to thank you all for watching please like and subscribe hit that bell icon to stay up to date with notifications remember to play with your kids and I'll see you next time